Hey, it's Artifacts of Mars. We're all aware of what happened in Charlottesville. Now the Republicans are turning on Trump, which really isn't that much news. And you have to consider the source, Shepard Smith, on his report. I don't like this idiot, but, uh... So as our booking team, and they're good, reached out to Republicans of all stripes across the country today. Republicans of all stripes. You mean rhinos and true conservatives? I guess. Smith said on the show Shepard Smith reporting, let's be honest, Republicans don't really mind coming on Fox News Channel. We couldn't get anyone to come and defend, come and defend him here because we thought in balance uh, someone should do that and he didn't. We worked very hard throughout the day and we were unsuccessful. And all those who are condemning the president's condemnable actions. What condemnable actions? I've never heard any prominent leaders, former presidents, members of the House or Senate use his name when speaking in generalities, he said. Smith's comments followed him off the rails press conference by Trump on Tuesday, during which he reasserted claims that both sides are to blame for violence during a white supremacist rally in Charlottesville on Saturday, all night went off one dead and at least 19 others injured. In the meantime, Chicago gangs kill people, uh, white people out in a frantic pace, and you people don't even care. This is all political. There are a lot of people in that group that they're, that they're there to innocently protest and very legally protest, Trump said, referring to individuals protesting against the removal, removal of a Confederate General Robert E. Lee statue in town. Not all those people were white supremacists by any stretch. That's all true. Thank you, Mr. President. That's all true. Various Republicans have spoken out against white supremacy and bigotry following Trump's press briefing. We must be clear, white supremacy is repulsive. Bigotry is countered all this country stands for. There can be no moral ambiguity. Paul, Speaker Paul Ryan, Rhino, Wisconsin, tweeted after Trump's remarks. Former Presidents George H.W. Bush and George W. Bush issued a joint statement on Wednesday saying the U.S. must reject hatred in all forms. These are rhinos. I don't like Shepard Smith, by the way. So, I'm not giving the story all that much credibility, but we'll leave it at that. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.